new narrow gauge line has been around for a few days. And Luke, Duncan, and Millie have been taking turns with the tourists every day. One day, it was Millie's turn to do the first tour of the new narrow gauge line of the day. And after she got covered up to her coaches, she saw Luke. So it is a school day, and I think Duncan and Greg went elephant tipping last night. And I think I'm going to do Duncan's job as well as my own again today. And I think Greg is going to miss school again today. Well, I can't believe we gave up on making them stop elephant tipping again. Yeah, me too. <sighs> What's the matter, you two? You don't look that great today. Sorry, Connor. It's just that me and Millie can't stop thinking about us and you and Amaya giving up on trying to make Duncan and Greg not do elephant tipping anymore. <sighs> I mean, that was a bad idea. Well, me and Amaya can't stop thinking about it, too. And I think it was a bad idea, too, Luke. Yeah, I think it was. Hmm. <sighs> And what are you and Amaya doing here? Shouldn't you two be getting ready for school? Well, me and Amaya just wanted to see you and Millie before we head there. Yeah. And besides, it's still early. Yeah, it sure is still early, Amaya. <sighs> okay, guys, whatever you do, when someone asks you what's going on, make sure you tell them that we have nothing to deal with this, okay? Wait. What? Huh. I wonder what this is about. Yeah. Me too. Get out of my way. Um. Greg. What's going on? Ask them. Ask who, Greg? The elephants. What? Elephants? What is he talking about? Um, guys? What's that? What's what, Millie? Look. Huh? Ah! Ah! It's a bunch of elephants. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Ah! 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 Oh no! They're gonna be late. Oh no! The track is blocked. Oh! Ow! Hey, get off the track! I'm about to pull a train! Well, no, the passenger's gone in yet. Duncan! Me and Greg weren't elephant tipping. Yeah, we weren't elephant tipping last night. Then where did these stupid elephants come from? Wow, there sure is a lot of elephants here. I think I should find out what's going on. Well, I think I should get going now. I'm already late. See you later, Luke. See you, Millie. <sighs> hey, um, guys, uh, do you know where all these, um, elephants came from? Well, Champ, Duncan and Greg went elephant tipping again last night. Yeah, they did. And I think the fence is still broken. And it must be the reason why these elephants are here. Oh, is it? Hmm. I don't think the workers started working on the fence yet. And how long had Duncan and Greg been elephant tipping for? For a few days, champ. And we tried to stop them from doing it once with a scary elephant. Hmm. I'd like to see the elephant that you guys used to scare Duncan and Greg. Well, we can show you later, Brave Five. Because I have work to do. And Connor and Maya have to go to school. So we'll show you later, champ. Well, see you soon. See you, Brave Five. Bye, Luke. <sighs> when Brave Five got back to the shed, he told Bobby Swift and the others about what was going on. So Duncan and Greg do elephant tipping all the time, right, Brave Five? Yes, and they started doing that a while ago. Well, if the elephants are in Hansworth Yard, I expect Thomas Lane to pick us up. Yeah, he could be late, Annie. <sighs> well, I'm not sure the track will be blocked, guys. Well, that line does lead to our shed, Clarabelle. And maybe Thomas will be late after all. 
and he was right. Thomas was not late. Morning, guys. Have you seen the elephants in Hogsford Yard? I did, Thomas. Brady Fives right. You did see the elephants in Hogsford Yard. And I think you, Annie and Clara, are next to see them in Hogsford Yard. Right? Yeah. You got that right, Bobby. And I think those elephants are going to be in Hogsford Yard all day. Well, it looks like I'm going to be late a few times. Yeah, I think it will, Thomas. <sighs> well, hopefully I'll be back before midnight. I hope so too, Thomas. <sighs> well, looks like I'll be showing you two the scary elephant. Because Luke, Connor, and Amaya promise to show me it later. Because of work in school? Yeah. You got that right, Bobby. All right. <sighs> Hours have passed. I'm ready to find my little corner of Maya again. They got Bob Swift and Master Dog with him. Hey guys, I'm ready to see the scary elephant. And I brought Bobby Swift and Master Dog with me. And we see that you told them about what was going on. Yeah, I did. And Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle. Well, I only have jobs to do for a while, so we have a lot of time to show you and the others the scary elephant. And me and Amaya don't have anything to do for the rest of the day, so we have nothing to worry about. Yeah, they have nothing to worry about. Well, come on, we'll show you and the others the scary elephant now. All right. Soon, they arrived where the scary elephant was. Wow, we see this is what you and the others were talking about. Yeah, and why does it look dirty and crumpled? Yeah, it feels like it's been down here for a long time. Oh, well, uh, it's been here for a few days. Luke's right. It has been here for a few days. Oh, well, why didn't you free bring it to somewhere else out of that? Well, we didn't know where to put it after that, and Millie was us when we scared Duncan and Greg with that elephant. Oh, why didn't you and the others tell me? You never asked. Oh, I see. Well, we should probably head back to Hawthorne Yard now. I gotta get back to work. All right. <sighs> Soon, they set it off. Back to Hawthorne Yard. Bobby Swift and Master Dog headed back to the shed, and Connor and Maya headed back to the young world, and Brady and Five was still with Luke as Luke got coming up to his coaches. Well, we should meet again before it gets dark, or before we go to sleep. Well, I do plan to come back here before it gets dark, and before we go to sleep. Oh, so we will see each other again before it gets dark, and before we go to sleep. Well, see you before it gets dark, Brave Five. You will. <sighs> Soon, Brave Five got back to the shed. So I do plan to see Luke again before it gets dark. And before we go to sleep. Well, Annie and Clarabelle got back while you were gone, Brady Five. I see. Well, we should be heading back out there in a few hours because Thomas has the evening train to do tonight. Well, I'm heading back out there before it gets dark later to meet up with Luke again. Oh, okay. But I think we'll see each other before we go to sleep. Yeah, I think we will, Annie. <sighs> later. As it was starting to get dark, Brady Five and Luke met again, and Connor was with Luke. But as Brady Five had arrived, he noticed that Luke was in front of an elephant. Wow, I don't know when these elephants are getting out of here. Me too, Brady Five, and I am literally late with the next tour of the new narrow gauge line. And that elephant has been in front of him for like 30 minutes. Wow, you're definitely late, Luke. Yes, I am late, Brady Five, and I want this elephant to get out of my way. And I don't want to tip it over, like Duncan and Greg do. 
but someone wanted Luke to tip the elephant. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Duncan, what was that for? Are you trying to be like Diesel? Yeah, are you trying to be like Diesel? Not really. I just thought it would be funny if I biffed in Luke and made him biff into the elephant that was in front of him. Well, you did make him tip the elephant. And you made him come off the track. Yes, I got derailed because of you. And you probably injured my passengers. Oh, come on, Luke. They can't be injured. What? As Duncan saw the passengers getting out of the coaches, they were injured. Uh, whoops. I knew you got him injured, Duncan. Hmm. Soon, the Aaron Conductor arrived. And he was not happy with Duncan. Duncan! What were you thinking about? Biffing him to Luke and making him tip an elephant. I'm sorry, sir. I thought it would be funny to biff into him and make him tip an elephant. Well, it wasn't funny. And he has to be derailed for the whole night, thanks to you. Yeah, I know, sir. Because those elephants are still around town. And you know what's the worst thing that the elephants derailed, Duncan? What? They derailed the breakdown train, which gets the trains back on the tracks. I know, sir. I know. I... I don't want to hear any words, Duncan. Just go to your shed. Okay. Huh. <sighs> Duncan was still thinking about what the Indian conductor said as he went into his shed. I just wanted the elephants to mess around with the trains all day, and now they derailed them. <sighs> what am I going to do? <sighs> I wish I could fix everything and get it back to normal. <sighs> and then, an idea flew into Duncan's funnel. I know just what to do. It was very late, and Luke was still derailed. <sighs> I can't believe Duncan derailed me and injured my passengers. <sighs> what a disaster it's been today. <sighs> Just then, Millie arrived. She had heard about the accident. I heard that Duncan biffed into you, Luke, and made you tip an elephant. And how you feeling after he did that? Well, I'm still upset after that, Millie. And I had to spend the whole night derailed. Well, I also heard that he'd been sent to his shed after that. Yeah, he had been. <sighs> Just then, Duncan arrived. What? Duncan? Aren't you supposed to be in your shed? Well, I was at the shed, Luke. And then... I realize this was a terrible idea that me and Greg did. And now, I'm going to fix everything. Oh. Soon, Brady thought I was heading back to the shed when he noticed something. <laughs> Come on, elephants. Let's go. Back to you, Finn. Let's go. I guess Duncan's bringing the elephants back to the yard. Hmm. Wow. But before Brady Five headed back to the shed, he went to go talk to Luke and Millie. Hey guys, aren't you glad Duncan's bringing the elephants back to the yard where they belong? Well, I hope they really are, Brady Five. And I'm back on track, as you can see, thanks to Millie for helping me get back on the track. Oh, then if you think Duncan really brought them back to the yard where they belong. Then, we shall find out in the morning. Yeah, we should. Oh, okay. Well, good night. Good night. <sighs> Soon, it was morning.
Hmm. Today is a good day. Hmm. Maybe all the elephants are not in the Hogsford Yard anymore. I think I should go check it out. And sure enough, everything was back to normal. The trains were able to run again. Pull goods trains again. And take passengers again. As Brady and Five was taking a look around Hogsford Yard, he saw Duncan and Greg. Wow, I see that you two thought those elephants really need to get back to their yard. Yes, we did. Even though I did all the work. And I was asleep while he was doing that. I see. And from now on, me and Greg will be doing elephant tipping when I'm not doing my work, and when Greg is not in school. And now if you excuse me, I gotta stop my work for the day. And I gotta get to school. Alright. <laughs> Brie and Pilot was glad that Duncan and Greg were not doing elephant tipping during work in school again. And he went back to tell his friends in the shed the good news.